The presidential candidates are quite uh, different, representing different parts of the country. And then there's this comment that's been making the rounds about comments that you made concerning uh, persons who do, do not vote for, I think, your candidates, considering them as saboteurs. What do you mean by that? Uh, no, thank you very much, Chamberlain. I, I went to Ghana on the invitation of my um, kinsmen. I'm an Imbise man. I will celebrate um, the Iriji culture, New York Festival. And so, well, for quite some time, my kinsmen in Ghana had requested me to come join them. And I felt it was important to do that. So, I, I was speaking to my kinsmen. That's, that's, that's um, what it is. And predominantly uh, PDP members. And so, uh, Knowing where we're coming from as a people, understanding our circumstance, understanding where the PDP admission left Nigeria, and the promises that were made to Nigerians by the APC then, who were surging to take over power, uh, they promised everything. They promised water, they promised light, they promised free education, they promised um, free housing, they promised prosperity, they promised the uh, stabilization of the Naira currency. I mean, you now know that all those things were mirage, they were deceitful and fraudulent, and those uh, promises obviously have never have, have come to pass. And so when you talk about the future of our country, you get worried as people who may, for one reason or the other, be deceived into believing that you just wish that it happens. And so the desire for me for a PDP administration that has internal mechanisms of good governance uh, cannot be overemphasized. And so I spoke to our people consciously, people within the PDP, uh, to express the need for them not to sabotage our efforts in reclaiming power in 2023 so that Nigerians can see good governance. Because give it to the People's Democratic Party. One thing about us is that, yeah, there will be issues, as you expect in any human conflagration. But we have ways of dealing with those issues. We disagree for, among, within amongst ourselves, and we deal with them. So it's better you deal with issues. And so, Incidentally, and I, uh, the issues have been put in a different context. And some, some persons, majority of whom love me, majority of whom believe in me, majority of whom have confidence in me, majority who have very huge expectations of me, uh, rightly so. Because of some, some, the interpretation that they gave it yes. was that you were asking that no Southeasterners should vote yeah, for Labour Party candidates. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, that's what, that, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So, a huge expectation born out of abundant love and expectations. To say, look, that I am as calling any or every Southeasterner, Igbo man at that, or indeed Nigerians who do not vote for my party as supporters, that cannot be. That is far from the truth, it's obviously. That is not me, it's not in my character. I believe in even in dissent from within my immediate nuclear family. So that cannot be. My position was very simple. I was speaking to our people. I'm an NBC man. And the PDP has been faithful to us. The PDP has given us support. They gave us opportunity to produce a governor in our state. And I said to them, we have an opportunity. And I called that they should not sabotage our efforts to reclaim power. And that was it. That was the context. And if you read through all, if you listen carefully, and incidentally, I have found that perhaps a number of persons who have made calls, either to my person, or to my family members, or to my friends and associates, have not had the opportunity or privilege to watch the tape. If you do watch the tape, you find the context was certainly, is suddenly being blown out of proportion. However, I am responsible to a people. When a people show you love, people show you confidence, people believe in you, you also have need to respect their feelings. And so to all those, Millions of Nigerians, particularly of the South East Extraction, who feel hurt by my uh, choice of uh, use of language, uh, I'm deeply sorry about it. I do not mean to hurt anybody, and they have a right, obviously, to express their political opinion um, in any way, form, or shape. I have a lot of my friends who belong to other political parties, and we still relate, and I will continue to relate. So um, it, it is my considered view that my People should accept me for whom I am and know that I am not um, a rude person, I'm not a disrespectful person, and I do not use words that are uncultured. I, am, uh, I thank God for the privilege of my upbringing, and mm. so that has guided me 
And I, I believe that would, um, that, that, would, that should be able to assuage them. It's a difficult, I mean, not, not, it's, it's a dynamic and different political time now. Perhaps, but 